is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Android 10 best MIUI update for this device and let me tell you that this is not the like build which you used to flash with the TWRP recovery this is a official public build and stable build of course let me show you the settings panel here is the all specs section where you can see the device model of course Redmi K20 Pro then the MIUI version is MIUI 10.4.8 stable then like the Android version is of course 10 as you can see you can move around this stuff let me go back the security patch is of 5th September 2019 so the latest security patch we have here and you can see the other specs and stuff from here and if you want to enable the like advanced features on this updater as you can see I have this reboot to recovery and stuff over here if you don't get it you just tap on this like logo up here like multiple times then it will like come up over here so i'm gonna show you what's new and what are the things has been changed over here but there are still me why things which i do not understand like why these happens but yeah in me why it happens so my phone was in idle i put my sim card in it sms did not work and like i could not send or receive any sms on this device after like putting in the sim and it was idle for two days i guess but then again i had to restart the device to get like sms things and stuff activated over here typical me why things this weather look at this like it says no data whenever i tap in here it says updating it can't simply locate my like location over here for some reason i don't know why it is connected to working wi-fi but still it says updating let me show you if my wi-fi works as you can see wi-fi works flawlessly no issues whatsoever but this weather simply does not work typical me why things but then again there are pretty much like some good things some bad things over here and do you guys like me remember the android 10 gestures well yeah you have the full screen like gestures over here if you are into that here we have the full screen display in the display settings and if you just like noticed here the display settings have been changed a little bit and here some suggestion kind of stuff is there so full screen display you will get over here and there is also the status bar kind of thing over here you can change the battery percentage right now to like next to the icon or in the icon or graphical you can use it and talking about this full screen gestures i just wish that it had the native android 10 full screen gestures but no that's not gonna happen here you can't simply like switch to the other apps just by doing this let me go into the display settings and show you each things we have the contrast and colors as we used to dark mode works super fine no issues the vr mode then we have status bar option over here then we got the full screen mode again let me go back from here you can choose all the apps to be in full screen from there and we have the ambient and lock screen stuff over here double tap to wake and double tap to like sleep is there it does work super fine no issues whatsoever and ambient display mode is there and here if you talk about the like animations uh, always on display stuff we have these kind of clocks over here as you can see it does look cool but i would say i would any day choose the like older clocks like these these are like pretty good to look at i would say so that's how i feel then we have the thing about unlock face unlock and stuff and talking about face unlock and how it is working let me show you right now so that is the face unlocking speed as you can see and did you notice that thing like whenever the camera goes up just notice that animation over here the top part goes kind of blue now let me switch to the camera app over here and if you switch the front camera it just like shows kind of some kind of color over there i think on the like whenever your device has red colored led it will like glow in red on the top part let me show you from up close so that's how it looks let me go into the video mode you are not gonna get the settings like 4k and stuff over here you will get this when you tap on these three bars you will get this over here you have this 4k 60 fps then if you tap we have the 720 30 then 1080 like 30 then 1080 60 then we get 4k 30 and 4k 60 so yeah that's all the video settings you get still and of course slow motion and stuff 960 fps options are there those work super fine and talking about that led or like glow over here 
I'm in the Google camera. This is a Android Q based Google camera. So if you take a picture, it won't the processing won't get stuck. It did process like quite fast. And if you switch to the front camera, even from this Google camera, as you can see that glow simply happens. So that glow simply happens whenever like you switch the front camera, no matter what you are using on the screen, it's gonna glow the screen on the top part. So that is a really great feature. Let me show you where you get that option of that glow. Like if you don't have it enabled or something, if you go into the settings and then special features, then front camera effects. And here you will see this visual effect over here. So animation when the front camera appears, I don't know if it was there. I did not notice it, I guess if it was there, but I think this is a new implementation. And of course we have these sound option for this like camera over here. And we still have these fingerprint animations as you can see. Yes, all of them were like previously there, I think, but it's good, it looks good. Now, let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the RAM management over here. Play Store was kind of like for 0.1 milliseconds stuck over there in the Play Store. Let me open all the apps from like memory over here. All the apps does stay in memory. Everything is quite fast. Even the animations looks really, really great. So no complaints regarding the app open up speeds or the animations over here. But I just wish it had the Android 10 based like native gestures, the full screen Android 10 gestures. It would be a little bit nicer, I think. But MIUI gestures are nonetheless pretty good. Then some good things I would say over here that we have this Mi calculator and stuff which is simply not working in the like custom rounds based on Android 10. I don't know why Mi calculator doesn't work, but we have Android 10 based MIUI with the Mi calculator over here. And with this calculator, you get a little bit of like features. We have this arrow kind of thing. Whenever you tap on it, if you open any app, it's gonna stay in front and you can turn up the sizes and stuff over here, or you can change the opacity of this calculator as you can see. This happens with some other apps too. So this is great and you can like do everything from here. It works flawlessly, no issues whatsoever, but these features are really nice and helpful. Let me show you some more th settings here. We have the battery performance and stuff. Then the battery usage stats are a little bit different. Let me show you. And on the top part, it shows how long you have been using the device and how long it will stay with this juice. And over here, if, if you watch the screen on time, you, you have to go here. And talking about the battery life, I would say it is pretty great. Here is the screenshots of the battery life I have been getting. It can definitely get you about six to seven hours of screen on time with your full usage. I still have like some battery left over there on the usage screenshot. And we can like select these two ranking or if you want to like see the milliampere consumed by any app, you can click on this milliampere over here. We can see that YouTube and screen consume the most about 437 milliampere so yeah pretty great that we have these many options and digital well-being is there and you can see like stats and stuff over here i, I guess yeah it works fine digital well-being does work fine and the whole full screen looks really really beautiful and like on this device you have this like game center mode where you get the statistics from the top and for that you have to just swipe from here and it will like, show up on the top Screen. We have HDR and extreme settings, so no compromises regarding the settings at all. And one good thing with the game booster, you can change the game's looks a little bit, I think. Did you notice that? It kind of brightens the screen a little bit. So right now it looks like this. And the sound output where the like his speakers are pretty loud, and you can have these kind of sound controls, but I would say that we can't control any Bluetooth or like device specific speakers from here whenever your Bluetooth device is connected like Android 10. So yeah, that's a bummer that we cannot control it from here. We have to go to the main sound settings. So everything is fairly fast over here. No issues whatsoever. You can see the FPS and stuff over here. On top it shows 60 FPS.
so as you just saw gameplay performance is pretty great not bad at all but i just suck so let me go home and here is the android score of this rom even though my bootloader is unlocked the drm info on this rom shows as level 1 with day to day usage i would say it's pretty smooth and i'll definitely wait for like custom roms based on android 10 to get better because when i flashed custom roms on this device yes the experience was bad because the fingerprint scanner was not that good so on the custom roms it was unlocking the device maybe 2 times out of 10 times and the ambient display always on display i guess over here is a little bit lower brightness which used to be a little bit brighter i think i think it's a good thing because like it will save a little bit of battery and in the lock screen let me show you this is how the lock screen still looks like you can change the clock style and stuff then we have the fingerprint scanner like unlocking option over here but the thing i miss over here is that like you can't access google assistant from the lock screen itself which is a native android 10 feature and here is the unlocking speed i don't know if it's improved but you guys tell me i think it has been a little bit improved over here it unlocks like a little bit faster than it used to The fingerprint scanner unlocking speed is pretty decent right now I would say. I just hope that this unlocking speed reflects on the custom ROMs too. And for some reason this Facebook feature kind of over here keeps like downloading or updating or installing over here I don't know why. And it's been like there I am like closing it and it appears like even here and there. I think this is kind of a Facebook apps bug I don't know. This is how the like calling UI looks like. You can put the phone into speaker and stuff over here and it looks pretty similar to the normal MIUI 10 stuff. So I'd say the in-call UI has not been changed and quality calls does work super fine. I did not notice any call drops like anywhere over here in this ROM and the call quality is pretty great too. And the earpiece is loud and stuff with this ROM too. You can boost the volume whenever you are in a call. You can just press the volume up. It will boost the call's volume. So that's kind of a MIUI feature and it's working great. I did not find any ads in the UI except for the Get Apps app. You can't really uninstall this app. That's how it is. So I would say in terms of day-to-day -day usage, yes, this ROM is pretty great based on Android 10. And it is great that we already have like Android 10 based MIUI for this Redmi K20 Pro. I know MIUI 11 is like around the corner. Whenever I see a MIUI 11 build on the Redmi K20 Pro global stable build, I'll definitely try to make a video about it. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.